Now, we have a surprise for you guys from the nanny today. I want you to please say hello to my favorite butler, the brilliantly talented Daniel Davis. <laughs> can you hear that response, Danny? I can, I can hear it. You look beautiful. Oh. Thank you so much, darling. Oh, you know, this worked out so well because years ago, you were such a brilliant actor. Needless to say, you were always, always working. And years ago, when we did the nanny reunion on Lifetime, you were working then. Now you're getting ready to work again, but at least they invented Skype. Thank God. We can talk. So they didn't have Skype back then, so you know, you couldn't be in two cities at once. Exactly. <laughs> so how are you, darling? And where are you now? And what's going on? Well, the reason I couldn't be with you in person is because I start rehearsing this new play on the 20th of December. So oh. I wasn't going to get to spend Christmas with my family. I'm, so I'm in Texas right now in this beautiful inn and my father, who turns 90 next year. Oh, bless his heart. Bless I know. his heart. Just fantastic. So I'm here with my dad and my sister and my nephews and the whole family because I wasn't going to be here for the holidays. So I got the holidays out of the way. And then I go back to New York next week and start rehearsing right away. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when does the play open? Because I never miss anything that you're in. He is such an absolute delight to watch on stage. Brilliant actor. Thank you, my darling. It's a new play by A.R. Gurney, who uh, you might be familiar with. He wrote uh, Love Letters and Sylvia and Table Manners, The Dining Room. He's one of the great living American playwrights. And this will be a new play at Primary Stages in New York on 59 East 59th Street. And we start previewing the 25th of January and run until the end of March, unless there's a demand for more. Ah, oh, well, there. <laughs> well, that's very exciting. And you know, I'll definitely be the first one in line to get a ticket. Um, yes, I, I don't know if America really realizes that, you know, you are a very renowned Shakespearean actor as well. So theater has always been your first love. It has indeed. And, you know, I, uh, just a year ago, I, I gave up my house in Los Angeles and moved back to New York so that I could uh, sort of devote myself more to the idea of being in the theater again. And the first thing that I got was a pilot for HBO. <laughs> oh, my God. So I, I moved back to New York to get a TV series, but unfortunately, uh, HBO didn't pick it up. So, it is <laughs> so fortunately for you, you're in the theater capital of the world. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now, um, a lot of people, when they watch the nanny, they actually thought that you were really British, and Charlie was putting on the fake accent. I know. I know. Somebody I got a fan letter said once. You should teach him how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I grew up in Arkansas. Which Arkansas, is, is that hysterical? Exactly. It goes to show you. Well, yeah. you didn't retain your accent like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to tell you, I, I've been watching your show, and you're doing a fantastic job. Oh, and thank I, you. I'm telling you, we've always known that you were a natural talker. <laughs> oh, you are so dear. I miss you, Danny. I'll see you when I'm in New York. And okay. please give your father my love. I wish you him a happy and a healthy 90th. Thank you, my darling. It's great to be with you.